All right, Paul, uh, first of all, thank you. Great to be your broadcast partner on Elevation Special Edition tomorrow night. Thank you very much for coming in the ring a week ago. That was very, very messy. You know, Tony, that's my honor. You and I have been friends for a long time, and I was very happy to do that. But i got to be honest right now. It was amazing to get back in that ring. I mean, if you don't mind, I'm so hyped up, I just don't want to tear your arm off and walk away with it. It felt so good to come down that ramp, put my watch in my pocket, stare at QT Marshall right in the face, step over that top rope and send Swolo Solo for a ride he'll never forget. Now think of the things you'll never forget. I'm so excited. I've got a real huge announcement. I'm so excited to share with you guys. Whoa, 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 Paul, the factory just wanted to come out here and stop you in your tracks before you said something you couldn't deliver on. Because I don't know how it's been for the first four decades of your career, but here in All Elite Wrestling, we don't say things to build up the fans' anticipation just to let them down. You honestly think I'm out here running my mouth to go say something, I'm going to let the fans down? I get it, Paul, after last week when your music hit and you walked down here and you, you choke slammed Aaron Solo, which the factory forgives you for, by the way. There's no heat there, Paul. Oh, I'll sleep well at night knowing the factory forgives me. Why don't you guys just come on a little closer? Come on, step in. And that's fine. I'm sure Tony Schiavone can count three. Paul, with all due respect, there's a reason Tony Khan hired you as an announcer and not as a wrestler chasing championship titles. <laughs> I don't even have any idea what you're talking about, QT. Are you just making stuff up to make yourself happy? I mean, right now, you're interrupting Tony and I, you're starting to actually upset me a little bit. Paul, calm down. Calm down, big guy. I was hoping that we weren't going to go down this road, but it seems like we are. Um, Paul, instead of me trying to explain it to all these morons here in Houston, hey. yeah, yeah, that's all of you. Because as you know, in my backstage role here in AEW, I am privileged to know a lot of important information, a lot more than what's on the surface. So Keith Mitchell, please, if you would, can you put the photo up on the screen? Look at that, Paul. Three different medically implanted devices into your hip. I know, it's embarrassing. I didn't want to have to do this. Look, Paul, a 14-inch scar. You had five, five operations in the past 18 months alone, just in hopes to give you the quality of life you once had. I mean, the fact that you did what you did last week and are standing here today, it's really heroic. It's a miracle before our eyes. Show some respect. So you thought it was a good idea to come out here and show pictures of my hip and my big beautiful ass on national TV. You think I'm embarrassed about five and a half pounds of titanium in my hip? Do you think that's gonna limit me if I wanna do something, QT? For a man that's supposedly supposed to be in the know, Jack, you don't know anything. But I'm going to clue you in, Bugs. Yeah, I had a little talk with Tony Khan last week. It felt so good to step over that top rope, to be in this ring in front of this amazing AEW crowd. 
That's why all out pay-per-view in Chicago, I have a match. And guess who my opponent is, my little guppy? Out all out, it's gonna be Paul White one-on-one -on -one versus QT Marshall. All righty then. I don't know how y'all feel about that. I don't know how, how, how I feel, how feel about that. Sunday, September 5th. Yeah.